Well, amidst an ongoing intense power struggle in the state of Tamil Nadu, the stage is set for the newly appointed Chief Minister, Edabadi K. Palanisamy, to prove his majority on the floor of the House. But ahead of the big trust vote, Palanisamy faction is confident of winning the trust vote as it claims to have 121 MLAs on its side. Meanwhile, the political slugfest has only intensified with each and every passing day as the AIDMK Chief Loyalist, Palini Sami will be challenged by the ousted Chief Minister, Opani Selvam, who has a wafer thin support of about 12 MLAs. But just ahead of this very crucial trust vote, Opani Selvam has made yet another desperate plea to all AIDMK MLAs not to support the Chief Minister in this trust vote. DMK Working President Stalin too has said that the DMK would be voting against Edapati K. Palani Sami. Okay, we'll just take you through the numbers now. This is the 234 number that we are looking at, the assembly and the magic number. The simple majority that's needed to stake claim is 118. Now, it will really come down to the arithmetic, the basic numbers, who has the clear mandate. AIDMK has 135, the AIDMK, but now has been split into these two rival factions, one led by VK Sasikala, the other by OP uh, Paneer Selvam, who has you know, been leading this rebellion against VK Sasikala. DMK has 89, Congress 8, uh, there is one that is vacant and uh, of course there is the speaker. So that is the entire Tamil Nadu Assembly, those are the numbers. Let's see what happens when that crucial trust vote takes place. Now, Karnanidhi is unwell, he's unlikely to vote, but the speaker will be voting only in case there is a situation where there is a tie. And that is the most important thing. Satikala camp, they claim to have the numbers all throughout. They claim to have the support of 121 MLAs who uh, they have claimed have pledged their support. Remember, they have been you know, at the Golden Bay Resort, they have been camping there for quite some time and haven't really been, uh, you know, seen outside. The OPS camp, they say that, well, we have the support of 12 numbers, but what really could change is whether, you know, there are more defections, whether there are, uh, you know, last minute switchovers from the VK Sasikala camp to the OPS camp. If Open New Selvam gets about 18 MLAs, then that would really be a spoiler. That would really, you know, completely change the game altogether. And that would leave the VK Sasikala camp with 115 MLAs. And that probably could be Opening Selvam's strategy to try his best, his, you know, make a last to lure or convince the MLAs to switch over and vote in his favor. Uh, probably, you know, that is something that he has already been doing so by invoking uh, Jay Lalitha's name repeatedly by stating that he is the rightful uh, heir to Amma's legacy. He has been making, you know, very grand gestures by paying several visits to Amma's memorial. Uh, he's also been, uh, he's also in fact been cashing in all the public sympathy, all the sentiment that has been in his favor all along. But what really is going to be the plan of the VK Sasikala camp of and of the newly inducted Chief Minister, uh, Mr. Edapadi K. Palanisamy, is to try his best to keep the MLAs together, to safeguard the flock fearlessly, which VK Sasikala camp, at least so far now, have been doing so. So those are, you know, the numbers. This is what one can expect. Clearly, the stage is set for this biggest showdown, the political slugfest that continues to intensify in the state. From Opani Selvam to M.K. Stalin to Shashi's loyalist, uh, K.A. Sangotian, everyone, in fact, have tried their bit to strengthen, uh, you know, their, their own numbers just ahead of this very crucial flow test. Let's just listen into a few reactions. Remember, Amma, before you take your decision to vote. I request everyone to listen to their conscience before they vote. All the MLAs are united. Everyone is in favor of us, including the governor. 
ஆளுநரை சந்தித்து கொடுத்திருக்கிறோம் மிக விரைவில் அவர் அழைப்பார் என்று நாங்கள் எதிர்பார்க்கிறோம் நாளைய தினம் பழனிசாமி அவர்கள் தலைமையில் கோரவிருக்கக்கூடிய The DMK will vote against Palanisamy in the floor test tomorrow. It is a unanimous decision made by the party. நாங்கள் எங்களுடைய வாக்கினை திராவிட முன்னேற்ற கழகத்தின் சார்பில் இருக்கக்கூடிய எண்பத்தி ஒன்பது சட்டமன்ற உறுப்பினர்களும் எங்களுடைய வாக்கினை பதிவு செய்ய இருக்கிறோம் Let's go straight across now to my colleague Akshita Nand Gopal who joins us. Uh, Akshita, good morning. This is a very big day for the state of Tamil Nadu. Finally, we're having the flow test. Uh, what can one expect? Last mid, you know, last ditch effort by the OPS camp to try his best to get in more MLAs on his side. Good morning, Avantika. And yes, it's a big day. What can we expect? Well, I've learned the hard way not to try to predict what will happen uh, in Tamil Nadu politics, really. But I think largely it will come down to one issue, and that is the secret ballot, something that Paneer Selvam's camp has been demanding for, something the DMK also has demanded for. And there's a reason for that. They believe that if it comes down to the secret ballot, we could see quite a bit of cross-voting. We could see a lot of the MLAs who've pledged their support to the Sashikala camp actually going ahead and voting for O Pani Selvam. So I think, uh, you know, there could be a last minute twist that we can expect. Pani Selvam has claimed that he has the numbers. So has uh, Edipadi Palani Sami. But also what we have to keep in mind, Avantika, is that while Edipadi claims that he has about 124 MLAs on his side, there are questions being raised on whether he's still a little jittery, on whether he's still a little nervous. Even yesterday, you know, uh, I was outside his residence. Uh, in the afternoon or so, he made his way once again to Kuvatur, which is where the Golden Bay Resort is. He was there for nearly six hours, uh, Avantika. And the mm. question is, you know, if he's managed to get the support, the trust of all these MLAs, why are there still last-ditch efforts being made to talk to these representatives, to talk to these MLAs. So those are crucial questions that really makes you believe that, you know, this is not the end, that possibly O. Pani Selvam still has a few tricks up his sleeve. Uh, at 10 a.m. is when the assembly proceedings will begin. So maybe in a few hours from now, we'll really know the answers. As of now, uh, the OPS camp is still upbeat. They still believe that they're in here with a massive chance. You know, the MLAs, as far as they're concerned, at the Golden Bay Resort, they've been there for the last two weeks, ever, ever since, really, uh, this political drama began. Uh, but we'll have to really wait and watch to see which way they vote, because while many of them are very vocally backed uh, right. the Palni Sami camp, many of them haven't spoken out. They've remained very quiet, cooped up in that Golden Bay Resort. And they will also keep in mind that their political future, possibly, is at stake here, because we know the kind of sentiments with the people, and that may also play out on their mind. So will Absolutely. it be a secret ballot or will it not? If it is a secret ballot, things could very much swing in Pani Selvam's way, Avatika. Let's see what happens. We leave it at that, Akshita. Very interesting, uh, you know, all those uh, updates you just gave us. And of course, we'll come back to you through the day.